vlog. I'm so excited to be filming this one. I just woke up, made myself some coffee. So, I'm a bit swollen, I'm gonna gua sha. When gua sha you wanna open up your lymph by kind of just massaging the passages, which just starts here and here, and then you activate it first here. I to get everything going, get the blood flowing, but I hope this lighting is good for you guys because it's kind of like hitting down at my face, so it's not the most flattering, but I don't really care. I'm back and filming in YouTube format because it's truly my favorite, and I just feel like we're hanging out and having like a day together when I do pick up the camera, so it's really nice when, you know, I can find my SD card, I can find my charger. It makes it a lot easier to just like, you know, get in the rhythm of it when I'm in one place since I'm always back and forth from Connecticut and New York City. The light in my bathroom is like twitching. I had Indian food last night, so I'm a bit swollen. I had a lot of rice and good chicken and garlic naan, which was really good because I haven't had Indian food in quite some time. It's always nice. Now that I've finished gua sha I look a little bit crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite new eye patches. Um, the Peter Thomas Roth ones are the only other eye patches I like religiously used. These are from Goop and they are so lovely. I like how large they are on my face because I feel like they just target more of the puffiness that I get. These are called the Goop Jeans Lift and Depuff Eye Mask, so good. So I just let these kind of sit on my face until they dry out and then I just take their excess product and put it around like my smile line. And then this is the product that I am doing an ad for today. But the crazy part about it is that like I got to use this all throughout the month and like test it out before their launch. I think I'm like halfway through the bottle because of how much I use it. It is now my favorite finishing spray. I love it maybe even more than their finishing gel because this is just like easy to apply and it's aerosol free and it's alcohol free. So there's like no bad stuff in this. It has an amazing scent, kind of like their signature scent perfume if you know like their fragrance. That's also amazing. But yeah, I just apply a little bit and it's buildable. So like if I put my hair down I, it won't be greasy or like sticky which is like the best part about the product my hair is also finally at the length where I can pull it back and there's not like flyaways everywhere so that's been like my favorite holy grail item as of lately and I'm so happy to be doing an ad for it on TikTok you guys will see that relatively soon I think next week it should be posted the other thing that people don't tell you about influencing is that there's like many emails many edits many different variations of like what the brand wants and they come up with creatively and then they look at the influencer to be like the vessel for the product essentially like when showing it in lifestyle and i think that that's like my favorite part about my job when i do have a product that i love so deeply like this finishing spray i love so deeply it's in my routine every week i use it whenever i pull my hair back you can also use it when you're styling your hair with heat and it won't give you that crunchy feeling which is amazing um when i use other hairsprays like my hair gets crunchy it's gross it's it smells and there's like pieces that i can't like move once it's like in my hair so i love that because it's buildable and it's flexible and it's not gonna leave your hair dry or brittle um it actually like helps your hair follicles if anything so so that's amazing um we love that and i'm just going to do really like light you know, vibe. I'm just gonna brush up my brows with boy brow. I am on my Glossier kick ever since I started reading the book. It's just like, I have three favorite products from Glossier, or no, let's make it four. The Lash Slick in the shade brown, boy brow in the shade dark brown. This lip stain, oh my God, so good. I put it on my cheeks too, and I just do like a little bit. And it just pops like the prettiest bit and into color on my lips. And you can also build this up, which is really nice. I just do that and then I take it on my nose. And it just gives you a really pretty little sun kiss moment. 
So I do that. If I was leaving out the door and I had to go somewhere or go to a workout or say even an event and I wasn't like swollen, I would just need an eyelash curler, the G suit, this is in the shade Drive, and some boy brow. I also got a new makeup bag from my friend Julia who owns the Millennial Decorator. She's like the sweetest person I think ever. She's so nice. She's coming to New York soon. I'm really excited to see her. And um, anyways, I got that color little makeup bag and then I got it in white and this literally carries everything. Um, I have another one that I'm going to put all my camera stuff into so when I'm traveling I can just throw it in there. And then this is the brow flick in the shade brown and since my eyebrows are fairly sparse I just like to fill in the front pieces and it just gives it that added texture and like fluffiness that I always try to get when I am doing my eyebrows and I kind of stopped tweezing them I had them laminated in the winter that was fun and then I get them tinted here and there but this is so good because again Glossier is like the most nostalgic beauty brand for me because time it started which was like 2014 now that I'm reading the book I like know everything I was like a little girl who was like you know we didn't have Sephora kids back in the day you know like instead we grew up with like seeing things on Instagram and having its virality but what I will say is that like the time 2016 hit I had every single Glossier product like I remember saving up my money and and ordering it online since you couldn't get it in store anywhere and i i my favorite product was the glitter that came in like the little you know cylinder thing and it was like the most beautiful eye glitter ever and at that time i was doing girls in high school's prom makeup because sometimes i couldn't go to prom because I had lacrosse games, so I like couldn't go, but I could do their makeup. So I would get the girls older than me, I would get the girls younger than me, I would get girls like my friend group, like I, we would do each other's makeup. But I, anyways, I had like a little makeup side gig. And every product I was using in high school was Glossier. I think I even started my YouTube channel around that time. No, I know I started my YouTube channel around that time because I was getting a lot of hate in high school for my YouTube channel. Um, but anyways, that's to say follow your fucking dreams. And um, yeah, Glossier was like my holy grail. Everything. Their skincare, their everything. Like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, I saved up all my makeup money that I was doing on the side when I was playing lacrosse in high school. And it was just the best time. Like, truly, you had to be there. And it wasn't a canon event. I think I just, like, learned the term officially of what canon event means. But anyways, I'm taking some of this Living Libations serum that has, like, blue tansy and other amazing properties for, like, anti-inflammatory you know zits and it's all natural too this is the zippity doodab spot on skin serum honestly like i went to bed the other night and i had a zit here and i applied it and boom it went down um i've been sharing a lot about my acne and just how i've been trying to heal it and i hope it's not boring you guys and i hope it's like helping um those that are struggling too but I'm going to take this little scrunchie since I literally have a bunny tail in the back of my head and just throw her on and maybe curl my lash. I mean, I don't really want to yet because I have an ad to film and I want my eyelashes to be like up. So I'm going to let this sit, get my clothes on and take you guys with me to the nail salon. Okay, this is the outfit, my morning outfit. I changed literally a thousand times a day, as we all know. Calvin Klein, the row, Corel's, and then my socks are really cute and they're from j crew i just threw them on because in case i you know end up walking a lot um i'm not gonna be getting blisters and i honestly these are so comfortable i don't think i would get blisters but i don't know i just felt like i was in soft mood my mom would probably look at me and be like wilma you look like you're dressed for winter but that's okay we love it and i honestly might just walk out my eye patches because i'm in new york it doesn't matter um they're not dry yet they're almost dry i have like another 10-ish minutes of them, I think. But yeah, this is the fit. Um, oh, and my bag is my favorite, J. Crew, of course. It comes in black. It's about to be launched, and it's so cute. I posted on my Instagram story a picture of it, but then I like double-checked, and it's not launched yet since I'm doing a J. Crew ad also. I'm gonna shoot that today. I styled some really cute 
fall looks and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So this is the outfit. Let's go. setting them a size seven and I feel like they run like true to size or a little bit bigger but these are just absolutely gorgeous to you know elevate any look and I love how they're a ballerina flat but with the Mary Jane strap over the toe so it just looks really cute very French girl coded and I have this bag to style with one of the looks it's like this stunning snake skin print and it has like this nice Chanel-esque flap that you just twist and close. The structure is really nice. We have a butter yellow cardigan. Um, what else? I'm wearing these socks as we speak with my Mary Jane Corel shoes, but these are ribbed ankle socks and they're perfect to wear with flats, to wear with sneakers, or wear with a penny loafer. They just give the perfect break in between your skin and the shoe. When they sent the lookbook over, I was most excited about this set because it's like this stunning cashmere day to night set and they have it in a red color as well and I was pretty torn between the both of them but I feel like I would just gravitate towards this more especially in the fall um super cozy to lounge in and you can wear this literally with anything I'm going to style it really fun and I cannot wait to show you guys I'm going to do it with like an oxford over top a pair of scrunchy white tube socks that are ribbed with a um really big bucket tote and oh speaking about ballerinas i can't forget these these are stunning oh! this i've been wearing non-stop like i just wore this to my nail salon appointment and then i got it in black as well to style and show you guys but it really reminded me of the row bucket tote bag and i know that they made a very similar one to that, but then this is a bit more structured, I believe. It's not overpowering my body, what I, which is what I love. And it's just a timeless, timeless bag. Look one, sequin sparkly skirt. This reminds me of old J. Crew Jenna Lyons era, because I had all the fun t-shirts as a little girl. And then I paired it with this metallic gold Mary Jane ballerina with the bow detail. I'm gonna pair it with this big bag and i'm just so excited so i just laid all of that out and now i'm going to go film crown affair finishing spray ad which i talked to you guys about a little bit earlier so ad one and two are getting crushed today i never usually do it all in one day like two ads back to back but these are fun and very much integrated into my own personal like life so it's just fun when it feels super organic and like you love each brand that you're working with. I'm so blessed and I'm so excited to be showing you guys. Hey guys. We're headed to Salon 94 to shoot some content for J.Crew and also to... What are we doing? What are we doing? Right, we're gonna look at the museum. And then we're gonna go to dinner. to be here. 